Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for a fabric scavenger hunt. Hopefully my last video, um, which is titled, What is Fabric, brought you to this video for the fabric scavenger hunt. But if not, that's okay. We're gonna review exactly what fabric is before we get started. All right, fabric is a flexible material made from fibers that are woven together. For example, this sweater that I'm wearing right now is fabric. This pillowcase is fabric. This blanket is fabric but fabric comes in many different forms and types. Cassie is soft and flexible, but is she made out of fabric? Is her fur fabric? No. However, her fur could be turned into fiber or used as fiber to create yarn or thread to make fabric. The challenge of this scavenger hunt is to find specific types of fabric in your house. So you're gonna need some type of paper and something to write with so that you can draw the different items that you find. For each type of fabric you find, you'll get one point and you wanna try to get as many points as possible. So I'm gonna start listing the different types of fabric that you have to find on your hunt. Feel free to pause the video while you look for them. The first kind of fabric on our list to find is denim. Denim is usually used to make jeans or even jean jackets, sometimes dresses and skirts too. Denim is very strong and durable and was made to be worked in. Denim pants are often called jeans and are typically blue in color. All right, time for our second fabric. Our second fabric on the list is cotton. C-O-T-T-O-N. Cotton is great and comfortable for clothes because it's thin and soft. So lots of different things are made out of cotton. And if you're not sure if it's made out of cotton, you can look for a tag on the inside of the shirt. So you can turn the shirt inside out and look for this tag. 100% cotton. And on the other side, they have Spanish. Cotton fabric comes from a cotton plant that looks like this. The fluffy white part of the plant is removed in order to make the fabric. Then the cotton is taken to a factory to be turned into fabric. Third type of material you have to find is called terry cloth, but most people call it towel. Terry cloth is perfect for absorbing water. It has fuzzy fibers that stick out to absorb the water. See? So your scavenger hunt sheet will look something like this. I wrote fabric at the top, I drew the jeans I found, the cotton t-shirt, and the towel. One point each adds up to one, two, three. Three points so far. The next type of fabric that I'm urging you to find is called canvas. Canvas is very thick and not very soft. Can you think of anything that you have that feels something like this canvas? Need help with the canvas one? Well, I just found this change purse made of canvas. And I'm willing to bet you guys have backpacks made of that thick, durable canvas. And these foldable camp chairs are made of canvas. Paintings are made of canvas. The next fabric is a little more rare. So I'm willing to give you three points if you can find some corduroy. I happen to find corduroy pants and a corduroy backpack. You can tell it's corduroy because there are these raised up lines going through the fabric and it feels velvety. Next on your list is wool. Wool usually comes from alpacas or sheep. It's extremely warm and thick. So if you're looking for wool, you're gonna wanna look for sweaters, coats, scarves, or mittens probably. Here is a sheep's wool being shaven or sheared off. It does not hurt the sheep. The sheep's wool fibers are then stretched out, spun, and ready to be turned into something new. Next on our list is silk. Silk is slippery and smooth. You can find silk scarves, silk pillowcases, a men's tie is silk. This one is also pretty rare to find, so I'm gonna make silk also three points. Would you believe me if I told you silk came out of a worm's mouth? It's true. 
Silk comes from a cocoon that the silkworm produces from its mouth. Someone then unravels the cocoon and forms it into one single thread. Those threads or fibers can then be dyed into any color and those silk threads can be woven into silk fabric. So far we've talked about a lot of natural fabric that comes from plants or animals, but this next one is called polyester. Polyester is not natural, it's man-made. Um, it is made from different types of plastic. It's kind of shiny and slippery sometimes. Polyester is a good material for a coat because water and snow just kind of runs right off of it. It doesn't soak into the, the fabric. Oftentimes sleeping bags are also polyester. So go ahead and search for some polyester in your house. Polyester is very smooth, but it's not quite as soft as a cotton t-shirt. Also, you can usually check the tag to make sure if something's polyester. All right, now this next part is only for when you found all the fabric that you could. If you found some types of fabric that I did not mention in this video, that's perfect. I want you to draw them anyways and give yourself two points on those for, get, for going above and beyond. All right, now if you're ready, I'm gonna show you how to add, add up your points and what your sheet should look like by now. So I drew the eight objects that I showed you in the video, but you may have some different drawings depending on what you found made of those different types of fabrics, okay? Next to the drawings, I put whether they were worth one point, three points, you might have some that are worth two if you found some extra items. And now we add them up. I'm gonna start by adding the highest values. So that would be the corduroy and the silk. Three plus three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three is six. Then we're just gonna count by ones. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I got 12 points. I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm gonna give you guys a chance to get even more points. If you go through the video and pause at the scenes with the words on them, they'll be in the, either in the corner or right in the middle of the video. If you pause the video and write the different types of fabrics on all of these, you can add five points to your total. So for example, I just added 12 points, but since I went through and wrote all my words, I'm gonna add five to 12, and let's see what that brings us to. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, if you completed this scavenger hunt the best you could and you added up all your points, go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Fabric is a really important material in our lives and I want you to go around your house and just pay close attention to how different fabric feels and what we use that different fabric for. And you can definitely expect more fabric videos from me soon. I'm gonna discuss sewing and weaving and I hope to see you again soon.